Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial on how to modify parts in an assembly. Uh, the great part about SOLIDWORKS is you can modify things after it's been done. You can do this in parts. Say you misdimension something or your boss tells you it's too big or too small, you can go back and change it later. You can also do that in assemblies, though it's a much slower process because it has to do a lot of recalculations on demand. But say um, we want this car right here to be changed. Uh, we just right click it, the, the part that we want to change, uh, and then we do edit part. Now do keep in mind that uh, if we edit one of these pieces down here, since they're all the same part, they will all be updated together. But since my cars are all different models, uh, they will update separately. So right now we uh, are in uh, edit component within the assembly. You can see everything else went uh, clear. So we can see through it so we can know what our working space is. Um, we can now edify existing parts within this assembly. Looks like we are editing the assembly. No, oh, no, we're editing the car. We just need to open that up. There we are. There's the blue. So say we don't like this fillet, we can delete it. And say we want this fillet to be changed. Edit feature. I know. Say we want to make it just one inch instead. But we can make the degrees bigger. Uh, maybe less degrees, like ten and make it longer like two. Um, say this is all of the modifications we wanted to make for this part. We hit make sure we're not in a sketch or uh, and then we just hit edit component. And there we are. An entirely new um, car. As simple as that. And this way you can work within the workspace, uh, your assembly space and not have to jump back and forth all the time. You can also constrain things uh, to different pieces in the assembly, though it makes it so they can't move. So say for instance we want uh, this part right here to be lined up with this piece right there. We could uh, constrain them together here, but um, it doesn't work so well with motion simulations um, when you do things like that, because it won't move very well. Now, to show my, uh, what happens if you modify a part that is the same thing all the way across, that's just been replicated, let's put a hole in this side. we put a pretty big one. Oh, we just drew a sketch. You can see the sketch then duplicated itself all the way across. Want to add a sketch. Then we want to extrude the sketch. Um, you can see we're only going to put it through the end. Now, if this was a different part, we can be rest assured, even if we drag it out here, it wouldn't go through all the different parts in the assembly. But because this, these are the same parts, um, it'll send the hole all the way through. Um, not, I'm not being super precise here. Um, but totally do it and then we edit the component boom we have a hole all the way through um, that's because they're all the, all the same piece and so that's the basics of editing things in an assembly